route material, it's pretty easy to load the machine. You don't need a remnant stick to adjust your gate because you can rotate your gate even if the material is chucked in. So once you have your material through your gate, I like to start with the back set of rollers first. I will adjust the back set of rollers down such that there's no slop in my material. I don't clamp it down tight. Adjust the other set. I want to make sure that I can rotate the gate freely and that it's not binding on the material. Once I'm satisfied that it's adjusted properly, get the gate in the home position and engage the clamp so the gate will no longer rotate. Once that's done, I like to make sure that the seam of my material, if it has it, is still in the same direction. I usually always prefer putting the seam upwards. Take my chuck down, and I'm ready to run. I'm TJ with Bentec. Just want to give you a quick rundown on the easiest way to load your machine. When changing materials, you got to adjust your gate. I usually keep a, a short piece of the material I'm going to be using handy. It just makes it a lot easier than using a full stick. So I'm going to load a piece of 2x2 two two square. So I'll make sure my gate is open enough that the material will fit through. I always load it with the seam, the same side, just to keep it as consistent as possible. So I'll put it in, and I'll adjust my gate down. You don't want to crank down on it. You just want it so you don't have any slop. So I can't move it. Still rolls freely. So I'll roll it to the next position. Same thing, it rolls nice, no slop. I'll put my gate to the load position. I'm ready to load the full stack. This obviously isn't a full stick, but it's the same principle. So, even though it's a self-centering chuck, it's still best to use a bubble level on your material because you can chuck it in there several degrees off pretty easily and not even realize it. So I just put a bubble level on there, hold it level, and tighten it down. And you're ready to go. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how to load a piece of rectangular material in your machine. Um, I always like to keep a short piece handy to adjust the gate rather than having to adjust the gate with a full stick of material. So make sure your gates are open. With rectangle, you always want to load it with the broadside horizontal. So just roll it in your gate, adjust it down so that you don't have any slop, but you don't want it to be tight. It should still roll freely. Thing. Adjust it so it rolls smooth with your gate. Gate back to the home position. You have to make sure you have your spacer blocks in here. You might have to adjust them if your material diameter changes. Still use your bubble level because you want to make sure that your material is chucked in level. And you're good to go.